AC DC voltmeter scale direct current is an electric current that is unidirectional so the flow of charge is always in the same direction alternating current is a type of electrical current in which the direction of the flow of electron switches back and forth at regular intervals or cycles the voltmeter can be seen at the bottom of the ohmmeter with reflected dvv and ac rubber at both ends there are different ranges that are reflected on the voltmeter scale in the analog multidistor has a range of 0 to 10 V and 0 to 50 volts and there is 0 to 250 volts. We can also use the ACV10 scale to obtain the measurement of not more than 10 volts. Even if the same scale is used to measure AC and DC, their settings and specific ranges will still be different. Ranges for alternating current and it has a range of 10 volts to 1000 volts. These are the settings used to test the voltages of outlets at home and appliances that supply AC voltage. Ranges of direct current from 25 volts to 1000 volts. AC and DC are almost the same in the ranges, so only in DC we can measure small voltages. This table will be our guide to accurately read the voltmeter scale in different ranges. Let's first read the ranges that have both AC and DC. This is the range 10 volts, 50 volts, 250 volts, and 1000 volts. For 10 volts, we will use scale 0 to 10 volts. Each marking on this scale has a value of 0.2. This is how we will read it. Let's start with here. 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1 1.8, and 2. And that will be directed. Now let's move on to 50 volts. We will use scale 0 to 50 volts. Each marking on this scale has a value of 1. We will start again in the 0 volts. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and so on. And now let's proceed to 250 volts. Now we will use scale 0 to 250 volts. As usual, we will start again with the 0 volts. Each marking of the scale has a value of 5. Now let's start reading. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. Between 50 and 100 is 75. Between 100 and 150 is 125. Between 150 and 200 is 175. Between 200 and 250 is 225. So that is for 0 to 250 volts. Now let's proceed to the last one which is 1000 volts. For 1000 volts, we will use a scale 0 to 10 volts because there is no 1000 and we will change the value of the major divisions to 100 each so we can get a scale of 1000. Each marking on the scale of 1000 volts has a value of 20. 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and so on until it reach 1000 volts. Let's have an exercise. First, we should read the value of 10 dCV. We will use a scale on the top which is the scale of 0 to 10 volts. Between 6 and 8 is 7, so this is 7 and the value of each marking is 0 0.2, 7.2, 7.4. .2, so our 10 dCV is 7.4 dCV. Next is a value of 50 dVV. We will use a scale in the middle which is a 0 to 50 volts between 30 and 40 is 35 each marking on this scale has a value of 1 so 35 36 and 37 and our 50 dcv is 37 dvv let's proceed to 250 dcv we will use a scale 0 to 250 volts between 150 and 200 is 175 so 175 plus a value of the two marking that has a value of 5 175, 180, and 185. Our 250 dCV is 185 dCV. Last but not the least, we will read the value of 1000 volts. We will use a scale 0 to 10 volts. In reading 1000 volts, don't forget to change the value of the major divisions to 100 each. Let's start. Between 600 and 800 is 700, 700, 720, and 740. So the value of 1000 volts is 740 dBV. 